Why? We know how to make these things run. When we got a metal fuel element stuck and it fell down on the trampoline back of the reactor, we'd go in with our feet and kick it off into the pool, smoking, burning. If you didn't have an instrument, you didn't know it was too hot, so you just went in and kicked it. Finally, along came a rule maker that says, thou shalt not do that. You'll get burned. Oh, I didn't get burned when I did it last week. But you exceeded the limit. Well, where did this limit come from? Turns out that in 1934, the International Commission on Radiation Protection fabricated a limit for x-rays. It was no longer permissible to be burned by them, erythema, reddening of the skin. You now had to keep a limit called two-tenths of an hour per day. How much is that? Well, you've got to have one of these Beckman instruments to read it, and you have to keep time of exposure. You know, there are four requirements on this thing the size of the source, the, therefore the strength of the source, the distance from the source, the time of exposure, and the intervening shielding to keep from getting burned. Oh, fine. We've been doing this thing for years now, and we've never been burned. Why have we got these rules? And they says, yours is not to ask questions. Yours is to do and die. Don't you ask questions. If you do, you might disappear. Those who broke the rules didn't appear the next day. Military rule? Oh, yes. Absolute. What was your appeal? And people you were working with one day, when they weren't there the next day, you didn't go inquire why. You were just grateful you still had your work to do and you kept right on doing it. Now this is in the United States of America. Well, in 1960, we found out that the uh, materials that we were working with, the thing that we called high-level waste, that if you waited three years, these million-gallon tanks that high-level waste went into boiled off 15,000 gallons of water a day. Fairly hot? Oh, yes. This material that if it ever broke a line would seal itself off in the ground within a foot, make its own glass. It wasn't going to go any place. We did that a time or two, accidentally, of course. And so we started packaging this cesium-137 in casts in railroad cars like that and shipping it to Oak Ridge, Tennessee. And they'd take it out and make it into a barium titanate and press it into a pellet. And those things were so hot that they actually glowed in the dark from the infrared heat. Now, thermal ionic conversions came along at this time. So you hooked these little heat sources up to thermionic converters, and you took electricity out this side. No moving parts. These things went into the SNAP program. And these uh, early SNAP power generators are what power the underwater transmitters for our nuclear navy. We've got a regular road map under the sea. All you've got to do is have an instrument that knows how to find it, and then you've got eyes on a submarine. You didn't know that, did you? The power from it came from this material that they now call waste. We processed that stuff and packaged it outside at Hanford. Well, we had rules that said 3R per year is your allowable exposure, that amount of gamma energy that will expose a film pack. But that was for the people that uh, didn't know. We weren't about to follow those rules. We just went ahead and did the job. They sent around an investigation slip that says your dosimeter was overexposed two weeks ago. What did you do? And they had a cute little form on it that says, accidentally exposed to light. And that was the one I always used to check. Because it's the same amount of light. You know, if you get gamma through the film pack, 
It's the same amount of light as you get when you click the lens on a camera. They wanted to limit us to that. And one day we looked up, and they had. They had limited us to that amount of exposure. Then the fun part of the game begins. You say, who limited us to that? Are they powerful? Yeah, they control the purse strings. They live by the golden rule. Them that's got the gold makes the rules. If you like your work, you keep the rules. If you don't keep the rules, you disappear. Sure enough, some of us disappeared. Some of my friends.